Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Just finished watching the match. First of all, got to be a massive shout out to the 47 Heroes Wolves fans that travelled all the way over to Armenia to support the team today. Absolutely magnificent effort. And it was a magnificent effort as well, wasn't it, from the, uh, from the team. Um, Punic nil, Wolverhampton Wanderers four. A real comprehensive result, a great victory, a job well done. And that is actually Wolves' biggest ever away margin of victory in an away tie ever in European competition uh, and it was a really good job I mean to be honest you know the the the, the, um, the Putnik um, supporters were very ferocious at the beginning and, and the team came out very ferocious they really had a go at Wolves early doors um, a little bit like um, Crusaders did last week um, they had a go, had a pop. Wolves were a little bit unnervy the first 10 minutes and then things started to settle down and Wolves gradually started to take control of the game. And, um, you know, it was a brilliant... Uh, um, I mean, my man of the match, I've been thinking about that. I'll come on to that in a minute. But there's two that I've been thinking about. Well, one is Ruben Venegra and the other one is, uh, is Jota. And it was Jota uh, who basically made the ball through for Doherty, who making his first start of the season, he did make some changes because on the wing backs he brought in Doherty and Venegra for a start, and he left Nevis on the bench and brought Saïs in. Other than that, the team was pretty much un unchanged. And as I say, Jota played a beautiful through ball, but the run from Doherty into the space, and then he made the finish. He got uh, and put it away with a plum. Uh, and then I was a little bit worried that he'd hurt his ankle again because he was limping a little bit after that, but he continued. And then not long after that, Wolves got the second. Again, it was Jota that got the assist and uh, Jimenez finished it. And that was 2-0. And, um, and it went 2-0 into half-time. Wolves really in control of that and looking, you know, we couldn't have asked for more, especially after the start of the game. And uh, Punic never really, really looked in. They, 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 they've got some great chance going along there, that, that, you know, in the in the stadium. And they were, I've given it a go. They've got the old Icelandic chant going. They've got the the thing that the Man City do, turning the back and bouncing up and down. They had a good go, and I'm sure they enjoyed it. Wolves came out into the uh, the second half and got the second goal. Uh, sorry, the third goal in the first minute of the uh, the second half. Again, it was a great play. Jota, again, I think it was with the assist. And Jimenez put it away. And that's 3-0, pretty much game over. After that, um, Wolves had other chances that didn't quite come out. I mean, uh, Jimenez nearly got his third and hat-trick, headed the ball. And there's a diving header from one of the defenders to clear it off the line. And um, and then after about 60 minutes, we started to see the uh, the changes. Um, Johnny Otto came on, uh, Catroni came on, and that was for, for Jota and also Doherty giving him a rest. It was his first start, so you can understand that. And then um, we saw um, the last substitution, which was Nevis that came on and taking Jimenez. And Wolves pretty much controlled the game, passing it around, trying to conserve energy, which is important because obviously they've got a big flight back and then a game to start the Premier League against Leicester. Uh, on Sunday and that's going to be interesting to see how they cope with that and then right at the end Catroni um, in the box the guy never really needs to do a tackle gets a penalty never steps up and takes a penalty and it's in injury time and it's 4-0 for Wolves and it's pretty much game over and that might really takes the pressure off next Thursday on how many changes uh, Nuno could play I think we'll see a few changes not a load of changes but a few more changes um, and conserving energy you know, because we it's, it's an intense period, and I think he's going to take that opportunity. It was good to see Saez get a run out. Martinho and Saez both picked up yellows. Interesting. Do the yellows carry through if we get into the group stage, or does it start fresh? Because if they do, I don't think it's very fair. Um, but my man of the match, Vinegar, I thought had a great game, but I'm going to give it to Jota. Three assists, and he did have a couple of opportunities to score as well. Maybe he should have scored with one that he put over the bar. Who was your man of the match? Um, no one got the um, the first goal score and the um, and the four nils. A few people got the four nil, uh, but no one got Doherty as the first goal scorer either on my Instagram, on my Twitter, or on here. So well done for those that got the four nil though. And uh, yeah, it's been a, a job well done. And four nil, you'd think that Wolves are you're going to coast through into the next round, and then we'll see who we get. Obviously, likely to be Torino. 
And um, yeah, on the transfer, there was rumours that Kessier was coming in and the deal was agreed, but he didn't literally, uh, they couldn't agree wage terms. So that's not gone through. And that is probably the one worry um, that we haven't signed that extra midfielder to help break these teams down that sit beyond the ball. Uh, but I know that Nuno's been interviewed after the match about the transfer and one of the things that he said was the main thing, the players that he wanted to keep haven't gone out and he's pleased about that. And uh, yeah, it's a job well done for Wolves in Europe. Uh, got a long trip back and um, I think overall it's been a decent transfer window. Just that one extra player would have been nice. I think we had a similar situation, didn't we, last year with um, the, the, the left back from Man City that we couldn't get. He was a kid Klenko or whatever his name, but he has broken into the Man City side since. Um, so, yeah, how are you feeling about tonight? Leave your, your thoughts below. Uh, don't forget as well to enter the competition to enter the, uh, the Win the Rail Jimenez posters. I'll, I'll leave the link below for that as well. As quite a few of you have already uh, entered that competition. And yeah, well done, Wolves. And uh, we're happy as Wolves fans. Safe travels to, uh, to the team on the way back. Hopefully not picked up any injuries. And um, we can come out and, um, and, as I say, let's see how we get on at Leicester. I think that will be a real, a real eye-opener to see how we're doing that particular match. And, uh, yeah, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Dazzling Dave without the G. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Always Wolves.